All right. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. All right. Let's talk about Golden Lioness in the first race. You got uh, how's it going? Golden Lioness ran a very decent race in Pune. She finished third with Suraj Ap. Uh, she worked very well. This last workout was very well. But I think the horse over there to beat is Goldiva, who is uh, worked very well in this Bombay track in the heavy going. Yeah. First race, uh, I have a House of Lords. Uh, he has been a disappointment for me. I expected him to win in Pune itself. I don't know why he has not performed at all. This time we are putting a boy, uh, Mustaqim, with five off and without a stick in his hand, and uh, we are trying uh, little different tactics which I will not be able to explain to you. Maybe it'll work, maybe it'll not, but we have to keep trying. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, let's talk about Moonbell and the first race. Uh, how's it going? She is well. Uh, she is a little late maturing filly. She put in a decent run in Pune. uh but over here she's drawn 12 which is slightly a disadvantage but she's got enough speed to sit well up with the pace and uh she'll run a good race she's just coming around and a lot left in her good morning sir Morning. Uh, let's talk about Dragoness. So, what are your chances? Uh, you think for Dragoness? Dragoness uh, had a bad habit of standing in the stalls and not taking a level jump, and uh, she's improved in her habits. We've shown two mock races. Both the mock races, she has jumped out level, but race is a race. The temperament is completely different on a race day. I hope she takes a jump, and even if she takes a slow start, uh, loses two or three lengths, I think still she should win. Still, she should win. Yeah. And uh, any dangers you think from this field? She herself is a danger to herself. Yeah. If she takes a level start, she'll yes. she'll easily win. Correct. Even if she gets left by two or three lengths, she should she win. Should, she should win. That's right. Thank you. Very promising. Thank you, sir, and all the best for tomorrow. Ah, uh, so you've got impermanence in the second race. Uh, how's it yes, going? I, if you notice, I had used a pair of blinkers on her. She didn't perform. I used a visor on her. She didn't perform. No, she's shunned both of them. And I'm claiming to put a claim, five kilo claim. Her. It's a very open race. I think it's a fourteen horse field, and it's it's going to be a little taller for me to win this race. Okay, but anyone in particular? No, I think it's an open race. And then you have Fanta in the second race. So. What are the chances? Fanta, she's a very big mid filly. I can't work much her due to her issues, but uh, she surprised me by winning on the last day in Pune. Where I've done a very good timing, though. Uh, I think in this race, all has to be Diagnos is the horse to beat. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, all right, sir. In the second race, you've got Arbitrage, Rising Brave, and Moment of Madness. Uh, can you uh, give me some uh, details about uh, how they're doing? The three of them. Yeah, I got three runners, and uh, I wish the race was divided so at least one of them had a chance. But uh, looks like this filly called Dragoness running, she's not been jumping out of the gates for so long. But last week she jumped out, so I think everybody is a passenger in the race yeah. if she jumps out. Okay. So there is no race. Okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, I just hope my horses have a good show, put up a good show. The arbitrage and uh, moment of madness they really, they can run on board yeah. otherwise uh, rising brave i don't think he's got a chance in the race he's too old if he runs well i'll accept no problems okay sir yeah but i feel there is no opposition for dragoness in the race yeah in the second race i have a filly called mirai again i've taken five off probably my boy will ride her at 45 kilos i would have given her a decent chance Uh, for placing, but the uh, main horse there is this Dragoness. She is a much superior horse than all of them. She had a gait problem which she has overcome. So I think the whole field has to be Dragoness over there. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. All right, sir. Um, let's talk about uh, Tyrone Black, sir. Your horse won in Bombay as a baby, three-year-old. You know, his two runs in Pune. You ran third and second. Now you're taking on a class four field, which is pretty decent, like Finch, Lord Finisha, King's Best, Sweet Emotion. How do you think you will fare amongst this lot, and sir, your probable danger for this field? Uh, Tyrone Black uh, actually had a little setback in Pune. Uh, it took me a long time to set him right again. 
and uh, I worked him quite a bit. As a matter of fact, I've given a little more workout than uh, his normal uh, style of working. And uh, he has set himself right and he's working really well now. But uh, it's not about the dangers so much. We have to take on horses when we run. But uh, his own draw, 14, being a front-running horse, I think uh, that could be a little dampener for him. And uh, if he uh, can get up there in close to the front horses, he will make a good race out of it. No, there is a um, King's Best who will definitely improve. That Puna, I think, is more of a Bombay sort of a horse with a long straight. And uh, Lord Finicia can show a lot of improvement. That was his first. Uh, uh, probably he's also coming right now. And uh, it will be a nice race. So, how's it going for Outlander? So, how's the track and uh, fitness levels for Outlander and any other danger you feel in this particular race? Yeah, he's a nice horse and uh, it's a, it's a quite a competitive race he's running in. I hope he'll have a good show and uh, if he can win, win, it's very good. But there are quite a lot of horses running with the chance in that race. So, I feel it's an open race and... Uh, I'll be happy if the results is in my favor. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. There are horses like uh, King's Best, Lord Phoenicia, even Jack Bohr, and uh, one horse who's coming very well on a handicap is Sweet Emotion. So these are all horses running in this race. So it's a competitive race. Yes. Difficult to nominate anything in this. Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. Uh, let's talk about King's Best, sir. You've run two races in Pune. Uh, you ran third both times. Finch beat you by two lengths. Um, where, of course, you were giving him uh, three and a half kgs on handicap. Today, you are coming out four kgs better. Do you think you can beat Finch? And if you have any other danger, sir? Uh, my horse, last time when he ran, he ran a disappointing race. Uh, I was thinking he, he the how he worked he uh, because of that I was thinking to won that race and after that I put the tongue step and all let's see tomorrow I am taking the alarms also and he worked well he has a decent chance but uh, uh, there's two three horses in that race the MK Jado horse is there Rihan horse is there and uh, uh, one more horse is there, but uh, I have a chance. He worked well. I put, I'm taking the alarms and plus I'm uh, putting the tongue step also. Mm. Let's see. Right. Inshallah. Okay, all right. Thank you. Talking about Lord Phoenicia, now you were a half a length uh, winner in Pune in a maiden set uh, beating uh, Kirkins and now you're running in a class for open company. Uh, what are your chances? What do you think? He, he's a good horse. He's well bred and uh, he's improved after his last run. Though he won, I think he won well. I, I was didn't expect him to win that well, but he's really won well. He's come up after the race. I think the horse over there to look with that, uh, we all have to beat it. Sweet Emotion, who is working well there. Yes, right. Jubilant Jani running. She's also running after a long layoff. She'll need the start. Okay. Vishal Munde sir. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, okay, so you've got Sweet Emotion. Uh, of course, just one career start where she was fancied in a very good set of maiden horses. Unfortunately, she burst a blood vessel in that race and you haven't run her after that race, which was in September. Has she come out of all her problems and how do you think uh, you expect her to run here? Yeah, so there was a setback after her last run. Uh, she has come back strong after that. Uh, her track work seems to be really pleasing. So we think that this race should uh, should get her forward. And she should run a decent race, I feel. Yeah. And anyone else to look out for in this field? Uh, I would say uh, Lord uh, Fenicia and Tyron Black. These are the other three-year-olds. And in the four-year-olds, Finch, uh, they have run decent races in Pune. Okay. So, uh, she's uh, she, last race, she needed the experience. But unfortunately, she broke a blood vessel. So, mm. uh, she uh, that, that was a setback. Uh, yeah, decent. She should bounce back, I feel, because her track movements are pretty good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Good morning, sir. Hi, good morning. Let's talk about Petronia, sir, your, your runner for tomorrow's races. Well, she's been disappointing a bit. She's run last two runs in Pune, haven't been so good. I'm hoping change of scene 
makes a big difference to her and she does it she does it all right any horrible danger sir for the sweet all of them all the others are classic horses so they are all uh, prepping for the classic races so all of them are dangerous <coughs> all right now i have two horses running in the dexas race one is dexa another horse is parinjil i think moito and supernatural are the two main contenders in that race So let's talk about Supernatural. Now this is like a trailer to the 2000 Guineas. You've got Moito and Dexa running against you. You are also winner of the Bangalore Summer Derby, and of course you're running him after a long layoff. But you have Moito had beaten you um, in the Colts Trial in Bangalore Summer. What do you think of your chances here, sir? Well, <clears throat> sir, seven is a bit sharp for him, and um, he has uh, yes, he has run a good race at the Bangalore Summer Derby. and as you say he's running after a long time and <clears throat> let's see how it goes because the seven furlong is certainly sharp for him and he's going to take time to get going yes sir all right okay let's talk about mohito you won uh, comfortably over a mile in bangalore and of course uh, beating supernatural and uh, you also had uh, your last run in pune where you looked well and of course won also comfortably uh, do you think you're going to repeat Uh, so supernatural the last time they met has beaten mohito yeah. uh, that was over a 10 furlong so this distance of 7 furlong should suit mohito better um, he is moving really well after the pune win too and he's maintained his form and he should run a very good race and he should win i feel yeah supernatural obviously is the danger there yes, yes. Right. talk about dexa of course running after the last uh, bombay season where you beat uh, supernatural over the same distance but you've also got a very good horse mohito and of course supernatural who won the bangalore derby how close are you to uh, compared to these two horses and what are your chances dexa if you recall is running after 25th of march nearly 7 months gap yes. he went to bangalore unfortunately he didn't summer too well he came to pune he didn't summer up pune either he didn't pune having come here she is showing improvement it's a tall order for me to be these two horses who are much fitter than me because mohito won the colt stall in bangalore and third in the bangalore derby supernatural won the bangalore derby yeah. the, the, the two horses which i have to beat yes. and the two horses have also had a mock race yeah. i haven't had my horses well yeah. i think he should have a big race alright sir okay thank you So I have a very interesting runner in the fourth race, a son of a gun, very highly performed horse, very high on the scales. One of the few babies who has finished uh, three wins, and uh, he's running against really top horses, a classic horse like Moito. Then there is Dexa, who's the winner of the Pune Mala Multi Million. Then there is Supernatural, who uh, one doesn't need to say about. This is this race is almost like a semi two uh, thousand guineas, except it is fourteen hundred meters. So this is a race worth watching rather than tipping anything here. Yes. My horse will run well. All right so you also have Pure running in the same race as Mohito and uh, like as we spoke stands a decent chance what do you say? Uh yeah he does stand a decent chance he's a 4 uh, year old and purely running uh, handicap races. Yes. So uh, as a 4 year old he does stand a chance Pune uh, last run was pretty uh, encouraging. uh the there was a horse cut loose and k kept coming in and out so um, my horse got a little interfered mm-hmm. he should run a decent forward race too okay yeah. all right and of course we have supernatural as you said yes supernatural okay. is the danger there right. yes okay. thank you thank you Uh, in the gracious saldana million i have two horses running uh, smile of fortune and uh, new dimension new, new dimension is a quite forward filly she is working for a long time now and uh, is a two year old race you never know how it goes but i hope she does well and win for race for us i think these are very open race there are few horses which are working tracking very well uh, the general and uh, the quality horse over there looks from pacey's yard which is miranda so i hope we do well yes of course all the best to you thank you i have the general running in the glacier saldana multi million the first baby race of the season uh, he is uh, bred for speed he's worked fairly well he's feeling well let's see there's a to- lot of talk about a horse called new dimension uh, which is also worked well but then again first run babies it's exciting lot to look forward to my fellow will put in a good run miranda 
yeah, is a first time out uh, two year old runner. She's done a good gait jump and uh, she seems to be well. Uh, she I haven't worked her a lot because uh, she's a light sort of filly and um, her last workout was very encouraging and so I entered her and uh, let's hope for the best. Okay, thank you. Elios has, uh, he's a four-year-old that's taken a lot of time to come right. Uh, he's run his first race in Pune, which is quite encouraging. He should run well over here, but uh, let's see how much ability he has and let's see where we can take him. All right. Thank okay. You. Thank you, sir. All the best. Okay, sir. Let's talk about Mysterious Girl now. How is it looking for her, the fitness and uh, prep for tomorrow's races? Sir? She won her last race in Pune. She's yeah. maintaining her fitness and form. I don't know about her runs in Bombay because she's never run a good race in Bombay but yeah. she's fit and well. I think she can do it. She can do it of course. Um, Pune, the run of course must have helped and... She's settled quite a bit down. Uh, she's a, She was a mad thing. Yeah. She's much better now. Alright, okay. Thank you sir, thank you. So I have a filly called Right to Privacy. She's a very well bred filly. She's an import from another stable. She came to me in August. She's working well. She's well bred. But 17 horses, yeah, I've, luckily I've been drawn well. With 17 yeah. horses, one can never say. One can never say. But I think the, if you're drawn well, then... I'm drawn be? well, but she's running after nearly more than a year. A year? Okay. <laughs> so, so yes. I think all my horses are little... I have to uh, throw a lot of cobwebs. Yeah, okay, sir. I'm sure it's going to show wonders. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Good Thank wishes. You, all the best. So, let's talk about Mount Sinai now. Uh, of course, he's run uh, three, four races and once also come third. Uh, how do you think Mount Sinai is going to perform tomorrow? Mount Sinai, up to now, he not, uh, improve, he not showing any improvement the last when he ran in Pune. But uh, last workout, he worked well and better jockey also riding tomorrow. He, he will run a good race tomorrow. I think how he ran before, he will run better than that run. And I think he will run on the board. He will be one, three, four. Oh, lovely, sir. And any other um, runner to look out for or you think is a probable danger to Mount Sinai? Yeah, number one is there. He ran a uh, flow uh, in Pune. He ran a good race. But everybody has to beat that horse. Okay, sir. Number one. PC sauce. Yes. In the sixth race, uh, I have uh, a few horses running here. One of them is uh, Camille. Camille, I think, will definitely finish right up there. She is knocking on the door. She's right there now. But uh, I prefer another horse there called Royal Castle. Because Royal Castle uh, had a bad run in last time in Pune. And with Joy Chinoy, uh, I think he'll put up a good show. The horse to beat there would be Ilios. Let's next talk about Periwinkle. Periwinkle is, well, she's an old uh, dog in the woods. Mm. She's never won a race in Bombay. But she's fit and well, so we have to take our chances. And in the seventh race, I have two horses, Say Lamor and uh, Regal Prince. If any of these win, it'll be a bonus for me. Yes. And then we uh, have Highlight in the seventh race. So uh, let's talk about Highlight. Highlight will race well. He'll run well, yeah. It's uh, my wife's horse, so I'll be very happy if he wins. All right, of course, sir. <laughs> so. But any other uh, horse you think would be... In this race, I feel the, there is a horse called Periwinkle. Yeah. And uh, between Periwinkle, Highlight and uh, Power of Blessings should be between these three. All right, sir. Yeah. Okay. All the best to you for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.